actually for a Facebook friend of mine. She, uh, I'm not going to say her name because she might not want it said, but uh, basically she wants to hide some files. And so I'm going to show her and you guys how to do that. All right, so first thing is you want to go up and go to Terminal. So just go to Search Spotlight, type in, start typing Terminal, and it'll just pop up. Click on Enter, and it'll pop up. All right, then come over here, and here's Terminal right here. Then you go see, and first of all, put the put the uh, the folder that you want to hide, put it on your desktop. So uh, so we're going to do Stuff 2. That's the one we're going to change. That's one we're going to make invisible, so to speak, but it's not going to, it's not going to, Go away, it just won't be visible to people. Okay, so I'll go CD space uh, desktop. And now we're on the desktop. She says in, uh, desktop in. So it should say desktop and then whatever your username is for your computer. All right, and then after that, we're going to, uh, we're gonna go to MV, Amazon Mary V is in Victor, space, and then a uh, quote. And then the name of the folder now, which is stuff two, space. Well, it's not a quote, it's actually a apostrophe. Apostrophe, stuff, space, two, apostrophe, space, apostrophe. And then we gotta put a dot, stuff, space, two, apostrophe. Okay, so the dot is what's gonna uh, make it invisible. So again, we're gonna go at, term, at the terminal, we're going to type in MV as in Mary Victor, and then space, and then apostrophe, the name of the folder, do it exactly as it's named, case sensitive and everything, spaces and everything, uh, close apostrophe, space, open apostrophe, dot, and then the name of the, then whatever you want to name it, but make sure there's a dot before it, and then, uh, and then close per, uh, per apostrophe. Then after that, just hit enter. And as we go over here, it's gone. It's not there. Click on it, nothing comes up. It's completely gone, completely invisible. However, if you want to go see it, all you have to do is go up to, you know, click on the on the background so you see Finder up here, and then go to Go, and then go to full connect, uh, go to folder, and then have that little that squiggly line. It's I forget what it's called, a tilde or something. And then you have uh, what do you call it? Forward slash desktop forward slash and then name the folder you just named it so we'll put dot stuff two and there it is there is the con there are the contents of the folder that we just hid okay so it's there but it's not and that's how you hide a folder uh and that's that's pretty much it now if you want to get it back all you do is the same deal but you do it backwards so you go mv we're still on the desktop, by the way. See, it still says desktop. So if you, okay, let's say we close this thing. Here, get out of here, close it. Okay, let's say later on you want it back, okay? So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna go up here, terminal, type in terminal, terminal. By the way, be extra careful when you're typing the stuff in because terminal is like you're getting into the innards of the computer. So you really wanna be very careful the way you type in here. So follow it exactly. So. We're going to change it to, uh, again, we're going to change it to the desktop. So it goes CD, which means change directory, space, and then desktop. Now it changed to the desktop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Amazon Mary V as in Victor, space, and then open quotes, or open uh, apostrophe. Then I'm going to type the name of the folder that is now. So dot S-T-U-F-F-2 apostrophe, space, apostrophe, and then stuff to apostrophe. So now I'm renaming it from the dot back to the regular. And now I just hit enter and then it and then it did its thing. Now over here, here it is. It's it's back here. All right, it's back. Good to go. All right. So that's one way of hiding something. Let's say you want to take your Apple in to uh, to have it looked at. You can hide folders like that. Just put them on your desktop. It, well, based on the way I showed you, put it on your desktop and then rename them like I did to a dot something and there's no space between the dot and the name of the folder that you're naming it to and uh, and you'll be good to go they won't then no one's gonna know anything's on the desktop and you can have your computer fixed and your files will be safe and secure all right enjoy okay one quick thing I forgot to mention uh, is after you 
like when I said to go and check it out, when you go to go to go check the contents, you go to go and then go to folder. Um, that is going to stay there. So the next time you go to there, that is still going to be there. So you're going to want to, after you do this and go check out the contents, you're going to have to go, you know, go back to go and then go to folder, have this come up and then erase this so that if someone were to go to this section, go to folder, they wouldn't see, oh, this is, this is the folder they're hiding. It tells you exactly where it is and what it's named. So you don't want them to see that. So you delete that part and just say tilde, okay? And hit enter, and then it brings up your home folder, all right? And then that way, when I go back to go, it doesn't show the folder that I'm trying to hide. It just shows the tilde, okay? So just remember to do that after you look at the contents while it's hidden. All right, enjoy.